let's talk about alpha hydroxy acids today now if you take a quick look at any skincare product that you're currently using you're sure to find some or the other type of acid in it most acids do share the same property of chemical exfoliation but they differ a lot in other properties but how many of us actually know about acids used in skincare acids in skincare are categorized into three alpha hydroxy acids which are your AHAs beta hydroxy acids or BHAs and polyhydroxy acids which are PHAs now out of these AHAs definitely get an A plus because there is an alpha hydroxy acid for each skin type and complexion concern so what are AHAs alpha hydroxy acids are a group of acids that are derived from plant-based sources like glycolic acid from sugarcane, mendelic acid from bitter almond, lactic acid from sour milk, citric acid from lemon, malic acid from apples. How do AHAs help your skin? Now they are surface exfoliants just like any other acid. They dissolve the glue which holds the dead layer cells together which causes sloughing of the layer. This gives more radiance smoother texture and fewer dark spots. They also increase collagen production and as we all know more collagen means lesser visible pores and lesser lines and wrinkles. AHAs also act as humectants that means they attract water to the skin giving it more hydration. They are very good antioxidants as well. They scavenge free radicals from the skin. Now which molecule to pick? Glycolic is the smallest of these acids and gives the best results. It can be used by those with normal or oily skin. But it can cause irritation if you overuse it. Always make sure you're using a lower concentration. Higher percentages, that is 20% and above, are used as chemical peeling agents by dermatologists. Now lactic acid is a larger molecule and it has moisturizing properties as well as skin lightening properties and it can be used in those with dry or sensitive skin as well. Mendelic acid has very large molecules. It causes lesser irritation. So again, it's good for people with sensitive yet acne prone skin. Who should be using AHAs? Given their wide range of effects, most people can benefit from using AHAs as long as you find the right AHA and the right concentration as well as the correct formulation for your particular skin type. Always start slowly. Start with once a week application, increase it to twice, and then gradually you can make it a three days in a week or a daily application. AHAs work well with peptides. Peptides can slow the penetration of AHA, making them less irritating. You can also pair them with hydrating and skin lightening agents. Now, ingredients that you should not use with AHAs are retinoids and you must be cautious when you're using them with BHAs because AHAs will cause more irritation if you combine it with retinoids or BHAs. Also remember that AHAs do make your skin more sensitive to sunlight. So you must be extra careful about applying sunscreen daily and reapplying the sunscreen every two to three hours. For more, post your comments here. Do not forget to share and like my video and subscribe to my channel Forever Youthful with Dr. Jayashree Sharath.